All right, so if you haven't seen our video on place value, you're going to want to watch that video first before watching this one. That will be linked in the description or somewhere on screen. Okay, so here's a great question that was submitted to me recently. So when working with decimal place value, why isn't there a one-th instead of a tenth to start with? Great question. That's because place value in decimals is based on fractions of 10. So what does that mean? Well, remember how in place value, each place to the left gets bigger by 10 times? Well, when we move to the right, each place gets smaller by 10 times. This also applies as you move to the right and left of the decimal point. So after the decimal, each place is a fractional part of one, okay? So if we tried to say one for the first place after the decimal, it would imply one whole, not a fraction of one. But decimals aren't made of whole parts, right? They're made of tenths, hundredths, and so on. So here's the thing to remember. Left of the decimal equals whole numbers, right? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. And right of the decimal equals fractions of a whole, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. And no matter where we are on our place value, When we move from right to left, each place gets bigger by 10 times. And as we move from left to right, each place gets smaller by 10 times. All right, so there you go. Now you know a little bit more about place value with decimal point. Make sure you guys get subscribed so you don't miss content like this in the future. And let me know what videos do you want to see featured on this channel. Take care and have a great day, guys.